Yo guys, what's going on? Be a Fiking here, and today we're going to be taking a look at five maps which should be brought into Battlefield 1 from some of the older Battlefield titles, like what we've seen in Battlefield 3 and the second Assault DLC with Battlefield 4. And it's a big possibility that we're going to be seeing in either the Apocalypse DLC or as a standalone map. So, starting us off here with the first map I think most people would love to see is Caspian Border, which we have seen in both Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. Me personally, find it a lot more enjoyable in Battlefield 4. So the first time we saw this map in Battlefield 3, the map was very wide open around the edges, and then towards the middle of the map it was heavily forested with some buildings in towards the center of the map. So as you could imagine, everybody was trying to rush into the middle of the map and try and take control of those center points, just a little bit like St. Quentin Scar here in Battlefield 1, and it definitely is a fan favorite, as people were quite happy to see it return with the second Assault DLC in Battlefield 4. We did see some pretty huge gameplay changes made to this map from Battlefield 4, so I definitely think DICE could switch things up yet again if Caspian Border was to be brought back into Battlefield 1. While talking about maps from Battlefield 3, another fan favorite map was Grand Bazaar, which as most of you know, it was a very close quarters map with one or two tanks thrown into the mix as well, which I don't really think made that much of a difference as most of the fighting on that map took place in the large alleyway down the center of the map, which is what people love most about this map. The action was so chaotic, and you could play in it several different ways. You could snipe from the end of the alley, eliminating enemies trying to cross over, or you could just go in with an AEK or a high rate of fire SMG and go on an absolute tear with that thing. Most of the time, on a standard conquest match, you could get yourself up to nearly 70 plus kills, and I think this map would work out really well in Battlefield 1, mostly because it would be very well received by the community, and we haven't seen anything too much like it, there's just not many, if any at all, maps in Battlefield 1 that you can compare to Grand Bazaar, so definitely one that DICE might think about considering adding it to Battlefield 1, as unfortunately it was overlooked in Battlefield 4. The next map I think that should be brought into Battlefield 1 is Avod 311 from Battlefield 4, which is just a very fun map to play on, to say the least. It had a really cool little underground tunnel system, which made getting from the middle two points a lot easier, and it was also a key point of the map to control, as enemies could easily take objectives from underground, and it was also a really good map for both snipers and SMGs. The forest in the map offered some really good lines of sight for those long-range shots, but then in towards the middle of the map, there was plenty of buildings and close quarters action for those SMG users. So overall, it was just a very good map, in my opinion. Probably one of the best in the game. Not necessarily one of my favorites, but in terms of gameplay, it definitely does play out very well. Plus, there was a good mixture of tanks, LAVs, and scout helicopters, which really did keep the gameplay very fresh. Another good reason to add Zavod 311 to Battlefield 1 is because DICE have already made a nighttime version of this map, which gives them two viable options, to add the standard map, or two, to add the nighttime variant, which would be pretty cool to see in Battlefield 1, because we don't really have that many nighttime maps just yet. Now, if we were to see Zavod make a return to Battlefield 1, it would more than likely be an Eastern Front-based map, as it was based in Siberia back in Battlefield 4. So personally, I really want to see Zavod 311 make a return in Battlefield 1. The rush game mode in Battlefield 1 wasn't as good as it was in other Battlefield titles, mainly because a lack of rush-oriented maps, and personally one of the best rush maps in a Battlefield title has to be Arika Harbor from Battlefield Bad Company 2. This has to be the first rush-based map that comes into mind. It was just amazingly balanced for the rush game mode, and this is exactly what DICE needs to add into Battlefield 1. The rush game mode has kind of been pushed aside by operations this time around, but I still think DICE has a huge opportunity by adding Arika Harbor to this game. I maybe played around 10 hours of Russian Arika Harbor alone, so I personally would be really, really excited to see this map come to Battlefield 1. So lastly here on this list has to be Operation Metro. Now I think DICE really do have some massive potential for adding a World War 1 version of this map into the game. So I think if this map were to be added into the game, it might not be in the form of a Metro, but still have the exact same map layout. And a perfect location for this would be on the Italian front, where these huge cave systems would be carved into glaciers in the Italian mountains. And since we haven't seen many maps based on the Italian front, this is yet another great reason. I think this map could maybe start out on some sort of ammo depot or something outside, and then the metro you would enter into a glacial cave. And the interesting thing is that some of these caves that were caved out were absolutely massive, some of which even had hospitals inside, so it definitely wouldn't be a very far-fetched concept. But 
Anyways guys, those are just the maps that I think should be brought into Battlefield 1 from previous Battlefield titles. Let me know what maps you guys would like to see added in to Battlefield 1. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. It is always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next Battlefield video.